Hi guys, Steph here. Right, I'm just about to work on this particular pen here, so I thought, well, while I'm working on it, I might as well do a video, a how-to video. Um, don't try this at home if you're not sort of competent or confident. Um, send it to somebody who knows what they're doing. I won't be responsible if you try this and you break your own pen. It's a guide only. It's just to show you how I actually do it. But if it helps you, then excellent. Now what I've got here is a Waterman 512V, uh, the pen came to me, um, some of the parts were missing and some of them are broken. Now you can see here the lever box assembly or the lever on it is actually broken off. So what I need to do is actually replace it with a, well a new one. Okay, so while I'm doing it, what I'll do, um, as I say, I'm going to do this video, show you how I actually do it. So what I'm going to do, pop that to one side. I've got another Waterman 512V here, which I'm going to use as a demonstration purposes, because the other one, as I said, came in, some of the parts were missing. So what we need to do is, nice and simply, unscrew the cap first. We need to then apply heat in this particular area here to release any sealant, any shellac or whatever that is holding the section inside the barrel. Now what I'll actually do is I'll reach over here and actually show you, there you go, there's my heat source. You can see it's a hair dryer with this, um, this nozzle which allows me to sort of direct the heat in a specific area. So there you go, as simple as that. That is my my heat source. And I've been using that for many, many years. Once you've applied heat to this particular area here, get yourself a little piece of rubber. I use a, a bicycle inner tube cut up into pieces. You can use two pieces, one to sort of wrap around the barrel to grip it. In this particular case, I've already done it, so it is a little bit loose, but grab hold of the barrel, grab hold of the section, and pull out the section. Now, somebody actually sent me a message the other day and sort of said, well, how do I remove the section um, if I'm not aware whether it's a friction fit or a screwing fit? Well, my, my sort of answer to that is always assume it's a screwing section. Some people say to wobble it about. I don't like to wobble it about. Again, we apply heat, grip the section with your rubber, uh, your piece of rubber, or in some cases, if you've got them, use your section pliers and simply with a bit of, yeah, you know, with a bit of force, but be gentle start turning the section okay we can put that down now and you can see there and just turn it keep turning it and as you turn it pull it out and there you go so if it was a screwing section obviously you'd be screwing it and, and as you're unscrewing it pulling it out this one's a friction fit so in my my answer to that particular question was always always assume that it's actually a screwing section and Hopefully you won't break it. Okay, so that's the section out. Now, in a lot of cases, these pens, you'll find the sack inside has solidified. The rubber has gone hard. So what we need to do at this point, I'll get one of my tools. I use this little tool here, and it's a crochet needle with, as you can see, a little hook on the end there. In fact, what I'll do, let me get this little piece of paper. And... We just simply put the crochet hook inside and pull it out. Just keep pulling. But in this particular case, I can actually feel that the sack is all crumbly inside. In some cases, if, you, if the sack is still sort of slightly rubbery, you'll find that if you hook it to the bottom and pull it out, it will come out in one, one piece. Now, if we turn that upside down, there we go and let's see if it's released the lever yeah okay so it's 
So there you go, you can see the sack is all crumbled, it's powdery etc. So let's put that to one side, we'll uh, dispose of that afterwards. Now, what we need to do now is to remove um, the pressure bar inside. So, what we need here is our long nose pliers. And what I tend to like to do is just lift the lever up slightly and what I'll th that'll do, that'll put the pressure bar sort of centred inside the barrel. Get the long nose pliers. Okay, let me just take a look over. And just try and you can and sometimes you can feel it. There we go. I think I've got it. And just pull. There we go. And there's the pressure bar. Okay. As you can see, it's quite quite clean actually. So what I'll do, I'll put that barrel, we don't need that anymore, to one side. Just give give the pressure bar a little bit of a a wipe over. Okay, that will do us. We'll put that to one side, and now we'll come to this pen here. So to replace it, obviously we've got to remove the old one. Now, if I come over here and open this two there, let's pop that to one side. What you'll see, if I just open this slightly, says hey, there we go. Okay, that's what a sort of lever or a box lever looks at, looks like. And you'll see to the right hand side there, if I hold it like that, it's got a lug to the bottom right hand side. And to the left hand side you can also see it also has a lug. In this particular case it's sort of pointing sort of down if you like, because this is a new a new box lever. Okay, so that lug inside there is actually bent underneath underneath the barrel. So what we need to do is release it. So in this case, I get my little dental pick. And what we need to do is pop that inside there. A little bit difficult over the camera. And what you need to do is if you like bend back that lug inside okay and I can actually in some cases you can do it by just simply feeling there we go and you can see there it looks like it's come out so what we need to do is remove this one in fact what we can do is just push it back into the barrel I think there we go and hopefully there we go So what we've done is removed the old box lever. Okay, you can see, well, if I show you this way, that is the rear. You can see the lug to the rear there, and you can see to the left there, which is to the front. You can see the lug, I've bent it backwards, but the top of it is actually missing. And obviously, as you can see, the lever's missing. So. What we need to do now is get the new box lever as we've just shown you. <coughs> Let me just have a sip of my cup of tea, just bear with me. Ah, lovely. Okay, so this is the new box lever. Now, what you've got to bear in mind, um, I've actually got two here. This one is slightly smaller it's actually 21 millimeters in length and it's 2.2 millimeters wide um, I think the well so that that one is 21 millimeters sorry 21 millimeters long 2.2 wide which is too well it's not wide enough this one is 23 millimeters long but three 
millimeters wide and I believe they did another one which was 24 millimeters long and 2.2 millimeters wide this one that we're using here the 23 millimeters long 3 millimeters wide one is generally for the later later models if you like the other two that I've mentioned are generally for the um, the earlier models okay so this is the one that we're going to be using and replacing into the barrel incidentally what we'll do first of all some people will not quite understand how the um, pressure bar sits onto the lever now if I show the lever there okay you can see the lever itself to the middle there has these two little sort of lugs to each side and them two little lugs slide into you can see this sort of sort of lifted up side here and in effect what happens is we slide that onto that little sort of section says he over the camera there we oops says there we go <laughs> uh, difficult to do it over the camera okay is that in right I'm not sure if it's in correctly but for all intents and purposes just to show you hopefully you can see there what's actually happening so them two little lugs have sort of slid into the two side rails and that's in effect how a pressure bar sits inside the barrel onto the lever okay so what we'll do let's remove that and now let's concentrate on popping this lever into the pen nice and simply first of all we put it on backwards okay we put these two two lugs here to the back of the pen there and the front there as we said earlier if we can lift it up slightly this top bit there will slide just drop into the front so let's do that okay let's pop the the lever section first of all inside okay so what I'm actually doing here let's do it so I can show you people so you can see there hopefully let's do it I'm just looking at the camera make sure you can see what I'm doing so we slide that it says he always nice when this happens let's da, da, da. Right, so let's pop that to there we go there we go okay so you can see it's a little bit fiddly because as I say I'm working over the camera okay so let's make sure everything's correct with that it looks fine so what I'm going to do, just have another sip of my tea, because me doing a lot of talking. So what we've done, we've slid the back, put the sort of lug underneath the lever, underneath the underneath the barrel if you like. The front lug, as we saw before, is now pointing down. So if I was to lift that lever there, um, it would just simply come out. So what we need to do is get another tool and it's this one here now you might have seen this a long time ago when I did a video on it it's a tool that I actually made specifically for this particular job now what we need to do underneath is bend that lug inwards so it sits flush underneath in the in the barrel so first of all um, I just get this brush again I like to just to hold the very top here with this piece of wood just to give it something to push against 
and first of all we use this particular part here to bend that lug underneath so let's do that so I'm putting it underneath I'm pushing down on that wooden sort of handle to keep it in place so by using this bit here I've sort of hopefully bend it, bent it slightly okay so now what I need to do is use the other end which is this here to sort of push it up so that that lug hopefully is now there we go that should do it so let's pop that to one side let's test it there you go that's going nowhere so what we've done there is the lug to the front that we showed you we've bent it underneath and flush against the barrel underneath and there we have it we've installed our new box lever to the pen oh apart from underneath we haven't there so what we need to do let's do the same to the back to secure it so I'll get a little piece of wood again there I'm going to use that particular section again there let's do that like that pop that underneath look at the camera make sure you can see what I'm doing there we go there we go that's lovely there we have it that looks nice and secure we'll pop that to one side just give you another look at this particular tool here a lot of you people obviously won't have this tool but as I said I actually made this from well, a piece of coat hanger but again it's specifically for this for this job here so what we've done there is installed a brand new box lever into the barrel so while we're at it what we'll do is let's reinstall the pressure bar so the pressure bar in effect what it does it slides in from this end goes in first here and you can see to the middle there it's got this little section that is actually protruding and that goes over the lever slides in over that particular area and that holds it into place so in effect what we're doing is just quite simply the opposite to what we did before I need to tighten that a little bit more that's just just coming out a bit so let's do that again as I say it's always a little bit difficult when you're working behind a camera so let's pop that to one side and again let's install let's install the, the pressure bar so I'm gripping it with my long nose pliers I'm just going to raise the lever slightly so I can feel the lugs inside which we showed you before And it's always a little bit fiddly just raise it slightly present it inside just feel for it there we go and there we have it I'm looking inside and if I, turn, if I close it and turn it upside down there we go the lever is fitted inside I don't know if you can actually see that let's lift it up slightly I don't know if you can see that working inside but so there we have it okay so we'll put that with the rest of the parts in there okay put that to one side and then what we'll do we'll finish the pen off 
put the nib into it, put a new sack in it and we'll come back and we'll do a review on that particular pen as well for you. So, I'm sorry it was a little bit long winded, again difficult to work over, over the camera at arm's length but I hope it was helpful for you people out there. As I say, don't try it at home if you don't feel confident, send it to somebody. I will not be responsible if you break your own pen. So, don't forget, down below, leave a comment, don't be shy. Down below, support my work if you possibly can. And the most important, at this particular time, stay in, be safe. We're all in this together. Bye-bye.